Howdy guys, it's Tachi and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Chaos on Deponia. Like in this episode, we're going to do all the eggs. If it runs a little bit late, it runs a little bit late. So we need to go back to Doc's workshop. And if you remember from uh, way back, there's like a freezer in his room. So here we go. So we got the egg. According bucket. to the field guide, first platypuses brewed in frozen soil. So far, so good. And we're gonna put the bucket in the freezer. Who do we have here? Gucci goo! Well, <laughs> hello! So young and already so aggressive. Here, platy platy. Well, hello. So, y I think what we have to do is take turn the water off, and then take it. It may not be a water platypus, but it swims like one. Here, Let's take him. Well, hello. So young. Hmm. Well. I think I gotta do something else. Let's head on. This is, I think, fast enough. Okay. There we go. Let's go, my duck-filled friend. There's a nest to guard. Yeah. <laughs> kind of cute. Water platypus seems to be no longer on the menu. That's right. And we have the flying one. Let's see if we can go back to Bob's office. Pick that one up. Maybe because there was two of them or something or I might have to have the net I don't remember ah no the ice block is stuck tight I probably need tools tools I should be able to free it from the ice with that there we go ah, cold there we go. <laughs> uh, where are you going to go? Bellevue. Bellevue, Bellevue. Ah. And here's his nest. Let's go, my duck billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> kind of cute. He doesn't look cute. He looks mean. Hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the urn, put it in here. Kind of lower. If I could stretch the pants legs, it would make a terrific catapult. But what should I use to fasten it? Obviously, I'm still missing a component. I'll bear it in mind. That's right. We gotta hook the string and the hook together. And they say I don't know anything about fishing. I've built a fully functional hook doohickey. <laughs> when it's raised, this is the highest point on the habitat, but then I can't put the egg in there. It'll just roll out the other side. Hmm. Good idea. Now, I just have to fasten the end somewhere, and I'll have the perfect catapult. Right there. <coughs> Fell down. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. According to the field, I bet I... But I, it says there is only... Here. 
There we go. Oh yes. So what we have to do is go inside here. Look at the lint trap. Use the vacuum cleaner. Hey, to suck out just the for lint. the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. <laughs> pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. All right, now we're back. Let's push back in the lint trap. And if we head outside, the flagpole should be there. It is stretched. And I'll take the razor fish and <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My platypus catapult is loaded and ready for action. Well then. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I think now I need Whoa, to take the pants. A perfect trajectory. <sighs> I'm sure that can be used a second time. Yep. So what do we have to do here? That's what we need to make, a landing net, but I don't remember where that is. Check, 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 check. Strange illustration. Looks like the artist didn't know what a landing net is, or didn't know how to draw. Hmm. Maybe... I'm not even going to try that. My stuff already smells oh, fishy yeah. enough. I got it. It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? Yeah. Mm, no. Actually. Yes, of course. Of and course. That looks just like the landing net from the picture <laughs> in the field guide. <sighs> it's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. Uh-huh. <laughs> that looks just like the landing net from the picture in the field guide. It's a good thing I'm such a otherwise. Hmm. I don't know what to do. So here we go. Hurry up. Take the bread and put it inside the bird house. Here, platy platy. Look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. Here, platy platy. There we go. I got it. Oh, went the wrong way. So here we go. Let's go, my duck build friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flying platypus is off the menu for now. There we go. Welcome again. Grab a guess. I will. Just a second. How can I help you? Uh, As you look. I tried by the No. Yeah, yeah we Sorry. already heard that. Let's go back to uh, Dad and see what he says. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy is platypus free. Took you long enough. Yeah. Dude. Had to go looking for platypus eggs first, did you? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the very thought is absolutely hilarious. So will you let me reserve a table now? No. No! No. no! There's more to a date than fine food and a grand view, Rufus. No! As in, no? no. Yes! 
You also need to impress the lady with your manners. No, as in no. This is an Elysian we're talking about, right? I've got burns and blisters, two chillblains, and several platypus bites, <laughs> and you say no? What about a poem? <sighs> got burns and blisters, that's no lie. You still want more? <laughs> Don't make me cry. Not for me, for oh, the lady. Man. Nah, somehow I can't imagine that poem would please her. I can <laughs> see it now. The sunset is magically reflected in the champagne, making the sparkles light up her tresses of gold. It's more like orangey. Schlumpy <laughs> is serving dessert, and then I recite the poem. You mean what? I recite the poem? Y yes, of course. What? You. Well, are you well versed in the lyrical arts? Sure. Well enough to tootle my own horn. <laughs> no reason to worry. I happen to be a master poet. I just have to read through a few more volumes of poetry until I find the right verses. No, Dad. That'll take forever. Patience is the most prominent feature of a romantic, Rufus. No poem, no table. <sighs> Got it? Mm -hmm. He better think again. I've been listening to that doddering old fool long <laughs> enough. I'm going to solve this problem my own way. A la Rufus, with another truly brilliant move. I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. <laughs> a junk dealer from Porto Fisco once met a nice girl in a disco. He said, you have class. But she said, I'll pass. She thought it... Too much of a <laughs> risk. <-o. sighs> You'd better let Daddy do this. Oh. Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. <laughs> uh. You'd better let Daddy do this. Bad punzel, bad punzel, uh, ringle wrangle runzel. <clears throat> <sighs> You'd better let Daddy do oh, this. Oh, man. I bet I... That's what you said back then when you were playing Blind Man's Bluff. It took you three days to find your way home. And two years until you had paid off what you owed me from the bet. Don't go away. I'll be back soon. That's Forget right. that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it. <laughs> Let's talk to the poet down here. Knock, knock. Hmm, you again. You know quite a bit about poetry, don't you? I'd be a lousy poet if I didn't. Was that a yes or a no? Please don't <laughs> tell me you need my help with a poem. I need your help with a poem. No. But it's for a lady. And, uh... Most importantly, it has to come from within you. Isn't it also important that it rhymes? You know, towards the end. Not no. necessarily. And the meter. What about that? No matter. As long as it comes from the heart. Just give it a try. Bad punzel? Bad punzel. Uh, you already heard all these. Not bad. It's a rich and it's got... Bravo! What? Go! <laughs> huh. I have a feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. <laughs> knock, knock. Hmm, you. I still know you. There's a. Just give it a. A junk. D he said she thought. Not bad at all. It's a muse. The meter. And it's even a. Bravo. What? Go. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling he. Yeah, we gotta go to the, uh, the platypus guy. He said earlier that he did poetry. Welcome again. So, uh, when you've got time, I'd, I'd really like you to recite some of your poetry. Well, buckle up then. Here comes the classic now. <clears throat> I am here. There are you, platypoo. <laughs> wow, I suddenly feel so uh, inspired, elated, moved, sick. Grab a bus, platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill. Let's go back to the bullet. Tell him that one. Knock, knock. Hmm, you are. 
Yes. I still know you. There's a... Just give it a... Here am I. There are you. Platypoo. Say that again. Uh, here am I. There are you. Platypoo. You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The very worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but you really need my help. Will yeah. you give me lessons or something like that? Heavens, no. I know a lost cause when I see one. There is only one thing that can possibly aid you. It's the oldest trick in the poet's book. Drugs? <laughs> Drugs. Ghost writing. That's what I meant. Here, yeah. take this bug. What on earth for? Stick it in your ear. But it's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words to you during your date. Okay. Cool. Like a secret agent. Secret agent, Rufus. Let's see what else hey, Seagull has to say. <sighs> What is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I know which words I'll use. Don't make a fool. Too late. I may not be good at waxing eloquent, but I've got this. What? Ear wax? A prompter. The poet will whisper the right words to me. That poor wretch who lives below me? <laughs> what could he possibly whisper to you? Must you really play the piano after midnight? Doesn't sound so romantic to me. But it doesn't matter. I found just the right poem. I'll do it my way. Oh, the kid wants to stand on his own two feet. That's Almost. right. As you like it. Why not? I am going to reserve that table. And you take this. What is it? It's the invitation for goal. According to all the rules of etiquette, when she reads this, she will most certainly show up for our date. My date, you mean? Uh, exactly. I have a feeling that he's but first, fear. let me give you a Something few more bad. hints from father to son. <laughs> wow, that was pretty moving. He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. I can hardly wait to give him. Let's use this to go away. What have you got this time? Well, what do you think? This is an official invitation to a romantic dinner. Oh, really? Hmm. This invitation actually meets all the rules of etiquette. Bravo, Rufus. Apparently, I was completely wrong about you. Wait for me later in the old town, all right? I'm looking forward to being able to lay aside a few more prejudices against you and Eponia. Lay aside certainly <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> oh, Rufus. Oh, man. Why didn't she show up? Huh. I might have guessed that Dad doesn't know the first thing about women. With his terrific tips, it's a miracle that I exist at all. Romance and flowers, my ass. I'm gonna let him have it. Dad? What's been going on here? Flowers? Champagne? That louse! If this is what it looks like, the old philanderer might as well ooh, start digging the grave for his burial at sea. Right. That loud. What's this? I need a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless. Oh, I don't believe it. First he steals my date, and then my brilliant idea with the prompter. That miserable old dirtbag. So let's get ourselves a radio. Crane! Crane! What is it? I found something! One last... No! Little! Don't say it! Memo! 
I need a radio. Are you dictating these memos to him? No. Don't at all. change the subject. Just give me the radio. There we go. Why do you have to do this anyway? I won't say. Do I have to get a memo that says I need secrets? Oh, stock market news. Oh, come on, Crane. <laughs> If that doesn't beat all. Stealing my date from right under my nose. Your own son. Uh, excuse me? You're Rufus's father. He seems to think that. But I'm not. That is totally... Yeah, oh. What? I took him in when I was still mayor of Kuba. We found him in the garbage, kicking and screaming. He's a trash baby. That isn't true! Examine your feelings, Rufus. I am not your father. Now you tell me? <laughs> Have you no decency? Huh? Let's use talking. Cole, you don't understand. This guy has... Has what? Standing? Style. A clean suit. You see, unlike you, the captain knows how to treat a lady. But... You heard the lady. Do I really need to call an attendant and have you remove my force? Kicking and screaming? Just like the trash baby that you are? Really? I'll get you for this. Oh, has the wind changed? Something smells a bit off. Just an insignificant little breeze. I, uh, uh, oh, man. All right, so I farted. But that doesn't make him better than me. I am so going to rain on his parade. I will teach him a lesson so tough that it was dropped from the curriculum of the School of Hard Knocks. As much as I had. Welcome again. Grab. Yes, Let's give him the radio. Hey. You know about poetry, right? Sure thing. One of my platypus poems even made it to page three of the Platypus Daily. I see I've come to the right place. Here. Watch this. Radio? Oh, yeah. You'll need it. It's uh, a romantic matter. Platypus romance or human romance? Shh, it's starting. I have prepared something very special for you. The icing on the cake. A poem in your honor. Okay, here we go. The poem. Pardon me? <clears throat> the poem. Ahem, ahem. Go ahead. That was your cue. Oh, oh, <laughs> I've got just the thing. Give it your all. <laughs> you are cuter than a bat. <laughs> You look just like a... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, yuck. What? Hey! What the... Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very... noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I owe you an apology. Oh. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality, he is nothing but a subilluminated cerebral pygmy. <laughs> yeah, just without the stripes. So, oh, that's so what's funny. next on our agenda? Oh, huh. well, since you seem to be at one with yourself once again, I suppose we could go ahead with the surgery. I feel a twinge of regret. I feel so much brighter without my boorish and starry-eyed parts. Ah, I could get used to the thought of dating three goals. What exactly makes you think this might constitute an adequate contribution to our conversation? What? It's just that I like every aspect of you, baby. Ugh. Oh. We had better get on with that surgery. Hand me the cartridges. I'll go on ahead. Meet me in Doc's lab. She's into me! What's going on here? Janosch? 
I must listen and find out what is going on in there. Why? What is it that's going on in there? And, and what are you doing here anyway? We are putting your concept into practice. What do you think? My concept? Yes, you were completely right, of course. You cannot start a revolution by just sitting around doing nothing. Therefore, we are going to actively snatch the cartridges. Whoa, wait a minute. Those cartridges contain the mind of my girlfriend. Girlfriend? In your dreams. First off, go list a functionary of the resistance. So, of course she's going to sacrifice herself for the good cause. Sacrifice? Are you totally out of your mind? Unfortunately, another organization has become aware of the Extensions Codex, or could I say, an organization. What? Do you mean Donna? Precisely. The unorganized crime has held up in Doctor's lab. They took Doc and Girl hostage and were trying to extort free passage. But the revolution doesn't take kindly to extortion. As soon as the clock strikes the full hour, the evil system the premises. Actually, Girl left us disturbing. Lebo denied her held this position. What? But that's completely insane. Um, so it is. I know these people. They'll stop at nothing. You're just gonna get yourselves killed. Or me, as it is. Judge is the fate of the human factor. Always ready to die for the good case. Please, don't act just yet. Maybe I can think of something. Alrighty. This is, uh, I'm going in here. It's like 30 minutes already, so... Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.